What's up everybody, Danger Rock here. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Toy Biz rocket launching Spider-Man figure. I actually got this guy loose and I actually had to find his stand separately. I've had this guy for a few years now and he's a really great Spider-Man figure. Uh, before we take a look at the figure itself, we're gonna look at his stand. You see, we got a really nice um, picture of Spider-Man right there. Um, right at the bottom here, you can see the year. It says 2003 Marvel Entertainment, made in China, Toy Biz. And what's really cool is on this stand he has right here. Now, this part right here would plug right into his um, backpack. And there was a button here that would like launch Spider-Man up in the air. But the thing is, I the backpack of this figure, I actually don't have that piece, so I can't really launch him up in the air, which is a shame. But regardless, he's still a really cool figure to put on this stand. I really like what they did with the spider logo right here. And just a different look at like the, the webbing on the stand. It, it's all very, very nice. So I just put Spider-Man standing on it when I put him in my um, display case because I really like the way um, it looks. And setting the stand aside, taking a look at the Spider-Man himself. Uh, he's still a pretty good Spider-Man. I mean, this backpack can come off. I'm just not going to do it because it's going to be hard to put it back on. Uh, but he does have some articulation. Uh, you can rotate his arms a full 360. His arms um, move. His knees, um, I mean, his elbows can bend. He does have hand articulation, but he does not have um, individual figure articulation. And you can fully rotate um, his torso. His, his legs can kick out pretty far, actually. It's really nice. Um, his knees bend. And he has foot articulation. And he does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet, which I think it, it is really cool. Uh, when I first got this figure, I had no idea. Um, I didn't really know much about it. Except for that, I, I liked it, of course, because it was um, a Spider-Man figure. Uh, but what I really like about him is even though he's not um, too detailed or anything. Uh, I do like his, his face sculpt is okay. He kind of looks like a comic Spidey. I like the spider on his chest. It's not too big and it's not too small. So this to me is just a pure um, comic book Spider-Man figure. And what's really cool is when I get him to stand on my stand right here and I'm moving the stand around, he actually holds pretty well. Now, I think just because the back of the stand is, is plugged in right here, even though it doesn't have that piece that it would plug into, I, I still don't have any um, balance issues with him. He's still a really great um, Spider-Man. Um, but Toy Biz made a lot of great Spider-Man figures. I felt like they had the molds done really good at the time. Um, so for comparison, I also have a, another classic um, Spider-Man figure right here. Now, this is the one that was based off of the Spider-Man Classics body. As you can see, um, his eyes are different, though. And this guy has um, much more articulation. Um, his um, abs can move. He has individual, well, not individual, but he does have some finger articulation. Um, you could rotate his knees, and he does have toe articulation, which is something I really like about um, this guy. Now, of course, this guy came with a stand, which I also don't have, which I'm, I'm still um, looking for that. But if we put the two of them next to each other, I think that that looks really um, great. You could see how they're completely different. And one thing Toy Biz always did with these Spider-Man figures that made them so great for me is that they used different body molds and they actually made 
um, despite these look a lot like their um, comic book counterparts, like each Spider-Man represented a different comic book artist, which is something I always loved about these figures. And for another um, comparison, here we got the Marvel Legends Spider-Man. So this is kind of like a, um, a little evolution of Spider-Man figures. Of course, Hasbro has made some really good ones in their retro Spider-Man line. I, I really love those. But if someone were to ask me which ones do I like better, I'm always going to side with the Toy Biz ones right here because these were um, my childhood. So I, I, I definitely like this one a lot. I, I do think it is body proportions are a little bit off because his chest is really big. It kind of reminds me of like the 90s animated series Spider-Man. So again, it, it's not perfect, but he's still a really good figure. He comes with a really nicely um, detailed stand. And yeah, I'm not really sure what else to say about him is that even though he might not be my favorite Spider-Man figure, but I still like him a lot. I, I feel like this is really good. Uh, yeah, so this has been my review of the Toy Biz Spider-Man rocket launching Spider-Man figure. If you like this video, please leave a like. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And once we reach a thousand subscribers on this channel, I will be doing a full collection video. So definitely stay tuned for that. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think of this figure? Does this figure bring back any happy memories from your childhood? Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you guys on the next video review.